I remember being in my grandma's kitchen, tugging at her apron, asking for just a little taste of whatever she was cooking. Granny, may I lick the spoon? Is the cake done yet? Now it's my kitchen, my children and grandchildren, and even my husband tugging at my apron for just a little taste of whatever I'm cooking. Hello, I'm Coco. Now come on into my kitchen where every batch is made from scratch. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Cooking with Coco, keto style. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I truly appreciate it. What y'all cooking? Coco wanna know what y'all cooking. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to open up with a word of prayer and then we're going to get started with this amazing keto meal, okay? So let's bow our heads and thank the good Lord for today. Dear God, we come thanking you for another blessed day. Lord, we thank you for another cooking opportunity, God. Lord, I thank you for the viewers, God. I thank you for their love and support that they've shown toward Coco. God, I am humbled. I am grateful to you first, Lord, for all that you're doing, for all that you're going to do, God. Lord, I ask you to bless the viewers in a special way, God. You know what they stand in the need of. And God, we praise you. We glorify you on today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, 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 everybody. Y'all haven't seen you, talked to you since last Friday. So my question to you is, what y'all cooking? <laughs> well, guess what? I want um, to make sure that you guys watch my last two YouTube videos for the uh, vital information on what a keto diet is, how you get into ketosis, and all of that good stuff. I have, uh, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of encouragement, guys, in starting this keto diet. Day one, when you get to starting this keto diet, the change begins, okay? Day three, ketosis starts. Day seven, you become, um, you have a better mood and your, your sleep starts to improve. Day 13, you will see the changes in the mirror i'm a witness day 25 less stress and anxiety day 28 overall health has improved okay before the night is over, i'm gonna take this apron off and i'm gonna show y'all that this really does work i've lost another two pounds so 14 total pounds in less than two weeks I'm excited. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just going to try to maintain and keep this healthy eating going. I may cheat a little bit here and there, reward myself. You know how we do. But we're going to get started, guys. Tonight, we're going to have, we're going to, well, I'm going to make an avocado sauce. I'm going to make an aioli sauce. I will be cooking a keto broccoli cheese fritter, black eye pea salad and salmon croquettes, salmon patties, salmon croquettes, salmon cakes. What did y'all call them? My grandmother called them all of them. Didn't she, Mom? A little bit of everything. <laughs> so on this avocado sauce, you can actually use the avocado sauce on the uh, broccoli fritters or the salmon patties, salmon croquettes, okay, salmon cakes. Um, so what this first dish uh, asks for, two avocados, a half a cup of sour cream, three tablespoons of cilantro, two tablespoons of avocado oil, two tablespoons of water, juice of a half a lemon, salt and pepper to taste, okay? So I've already chopped up or I took my avocados out of their little skin there, okay? I'm going to put my sour cream in here. Now, if you do not have a food processor, you can just use uh, you can use uh, just your regular spoon utensils. utensils. I'm gonna put our water in here. Okay, I'll, I'll oil, cilantro, salt. 
salt and pepper to taste. And then our lemon juice of a half of one lemon, okay? Yummy. Again, guys, this can be um, served along with the uh, crab cakes. I'm sorry. The salmon. salmon cakes. Thank you. Salmon cakes. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to just take our lid here. Okay. What y'all cooking? Let's talk. Come on. I'm just going to turn this on. Nothing to it, guys, but to do it. It's just simple, easy, and delicious. Can y'all hear me? All okay, right. Carlotta H is watching. Hello, sis. How are you? Venus Boy, Fifi Bowden, and Darlene Smith. Thank you, ladies, for joining Coco tonight. I truly appreciate it. I'm just posting this just a little bit. Guys, that's it. Nothing to it but to do it. I'm going to hand this to my, my guy here. And we're just going to spoon some of this delicious avocado. Look, guys, this is just, it's nothing to it. But me trying to get this um, lid off. <laughs> okay, come on. Well, let's see here. That's it. That's all I was supposed to do anyway. Yeah, I'll just make things hard, difficult. Look at this. Look at this delicious, creamy avocado. Y'all better come on and cook me cocoa. I'm not playing. You all listen. You can eat this. Mm, mm, mm. That's done. What was that? Two minutes, two seconds. Nothing to it but to do it. That's it. Okay. Now. So this is our avocado sauce that we're going to eat with our salmon patties or we're gonna use, uh, use them on our uh, broccoli fritters, okay? So the next thing we're going to is the aioli sauce. Now you may have had this, this is more like a Mediterranean kind of sauce, if you will. I've had this at tzatziki, that was the first time I was ever introduced to it, but it's a delicious sauce. And uh, nothing to it, another easy breezy. You just take your mayo, oh, okay, with the aioli sauce, you need a half a cup of mayo, you need two cloves of garlic crushed, you need two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of lemon juice, of one uh, half of a lemon, and two, one tablespoon of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the bowl here. Add all of our other goodness here, our Dijon mustard, our garlic, yummy. Y'all better come on cook the cocoa, salt and pepper to taste, our oil and lemon juice from a half of one lemon. Nothing to it but to do it. My girl Bertha is watching. Yeah, Bertha, now, that's one of my um, viewers that does not eat meat. But Bertha, listen, you can eat this. You can eat these dips. You can have this on crackers. You can have it on vegetables. Come on now. You better cook with Coco. Thank you for joining me, Valerie Wright. And Valerie McCruel is watching my cousin, Diane Gray, and her mom, my aunt. Hello, Aunt Verna. How are you? Thank you all for joining me. Mama Aunt Verna is watching tonight. Aunt Verna, yes, she's watching. Thank you, ladies. You all, what y'all cooking? I've been asking you all that. My mom said hello, Aunt Verna. And that's ready. Look at that. Easy breezy. Nothing to it but to do it. Nothing to it but to do it. I'm in a good mood tonight. Uh, how y'all feeling? And what are y'all cooking? Okay, so my next deal, what are we fixing? Our, oh, we're going to do, let's do the black eyed pea. Okay, we're going to do the black eyed pea salad. Now, my goddaughter doesn't really like black eyed peas, but I've been trying to kind of, you know, just make it taste good. good Nothing luck. to it. What'd you say? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Her we'll husband do, said, good luck. We'll do a review. Oh, uh, okay. We'll do a review. So with the black eyed pea salad, guys, listen. 
This is delicious with fish. It's good with chicken. It's good with steak. It's it's more of a summer salad, but I just felt like it. You know, it's just delicious. It's colorful. It is scrumptious. What this salad asks for is two cans of drained black eyed peas. You want to rinse them really well. You use one English cucumber. Leave the skin on this one because uh, on the English cucumber, the skin is really thin and uh, delicious. All of those great nutrients are all in there. You need one package of um, cherry tomatoes, half those in half, two tablespoons of cilantro, two tablespoons of green onion, a half a cup of red pepper, yellow, or green. In my case, I'm going to use yellow and red, okay? Just brings that vibrant color. You need a handful of Italian parsley, three garlic cloves mints, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste, a half a cup of Worcestershire. I said it right. <laughs> I think I did. Wait a minute. No, Worcestershire does not go in there. I was just practicing. See if I can say that. <laughs> A uh, we need a half a cup of Italian dressing. And the reason I said wishbone is because I really love this particular brand, Italian wishbone. It's a really robust, robust. I mean, it's just mm, all that goodness, okay? And then we need one chopped jalapeno pepper, okay? So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take our peas. They've already been rinsed very well. We're going to take, and again, just a dumping game, we're going to take our cherry tomatoes. We're going to take, you know what? Hold on. I may need something a little bit deeper, and then I'll display it in that. Okay? Let's see if, if I don't make a mess. Okay? Let's see here. Am I going to make a mess, guys? Okay. I did it. That's great. Okay. Just a few little things. Our cucumbers. Cilantro, okay, all of this goodness, guys, come on, our jalapeno peppers, our mixed garlic, it's already smelling good, our garlic powder, salt and pepper, and then all of our other goodness, Ooh our red peppers, our yellow peppers, all of this goodness, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. Then we want to take, let me get this cleaned up just a little bit. How scrumptious does it already look, guys? Yes. It does smell good, doesn't it? See? My God, Joseph, it smells good, the one that doesn't eat it. Okay? Now, we're going to take our Italian dressing, and we're just going to... Squirt that all that goodness. Yes. Okay. And then we'll take some tongs and we'll just mix all that goodness. Okay. Am I making a mess? Oh, you all. It smells so good. I was actually talking to my sister, my older sister, Paula. Hey, Paula. I hope you're watching. Yeah. And she is watching. She made, uh, she was, um, trying to figure out what she was going to cook for her husband last night. And we were on the phone and she was saying, well, I got this and I got this and I have this. And um, I said, well, you know what? Do you have any black beans? And she said, yeah. I said, well, do you have any tomatoes? She said, yeah. I said, well, do you have any cucumbers? She said, yeah. And so she created a black bean um, salad to go with her meal last night. And she said it really turned out nice. So, hey, we got a few cooks in the house. What about y'all? So what y'all cooking? Fifi Bowden says she has her keto cook. All right. Thank you for your support. That's one of our homegirls from the neighborhood. Sharita Desmute is watching. Hey, girl. Linda Sims, she told me she got her book. She ordered three cookbooks. Thank you, love. I appreciate you. My sister-in-law, Chrissy, is watching. Thank you, guys, so very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, guess what? Y'all, really? Now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to pour this over in, in this bowl. Y'all, I promise you, it smells so dang good. I said dang good. That's all. 
That ain't good. <laughs> he ain't eating <laughs> Yes. So guess what, guys? This is red tea, red tea. This is delicious. Look at this. Um, is Ruby watching, Mom? Yes. Yeah, okay. Said, Hi, her. Ruby. Uh, my friend girl Ruby is watching, and she says she can't wait to get her book. Guys, look at that delicious salad. Boom! Nothing to it but to do it. Y'all better come on and cook with Coco. Listen. Okay, Brandon, what's next? What we got? Okay, we're going to do our keto broccoli cheese fritters guys these are amazing and they are so delicious let me tell you what's in them you need two cups of broccoli cooked and drained you need one cup of cheddar cheese you need two tablespoons of grated parmesan cheese you need two tablespoons of almond flour that's going to help it mend and and let me tell you this about the almond flour you know keto you can't eat the regular flour but you can eat and make dishes with almond flour. It is keto friendly. You need two eggs beaten, salt and pepper to taste, and you need a pinch of nutmeg. This gives it that extra mm, 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 good, okay? Guys, this particular um, recipe for the broccoli cheese fritters has 328.8 calories. It has 3.1 gram of carb. It has 20.2 grams of protein and 26 grams of fat. All right, so I have my broccoli here. Let me get a little oil. I'm just gonna dab my pan just a little bit. It's getting nice and hot for me. Okay, about a tablespoon there. Just a tablespoon. I need to grab my spatula. I should have had this ready, but I don't. So where's my spatula? Never when I need it. Come on, Sandra. Get it together, lady. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I'm just going to spray this oil. What y'all cooking? I appreciate you guys joining me tonight. This is a good one, guys. Look, we have our two sauces already made. Already ready, 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 ready. Now, our broccoli. So we have our broccoli. So I have it nice and drained. And I said a, a couple of cups of broccoli here, okay? A couple. I don't have as many guests tonight. So, and then um, we're gonna add our cheeses. Regular cheese, Parmesan cheese, that pinch of nutmeg, oh, salt and pepper. Now we have our two beaten eggs. We're going to put that over in there as well. Am I missing something? Seems like there's something else I'm missing, Brandon. I want to make sure. Put your flour in? Yes. It was along with the... Um... I'm going to put my gloves on. This is a little messy. It may be just a little messy. And guys, have you guys ever had salmon cakes? Patties. What, is, what, what did you all call them? Diane, Aunt Verna, what did you guys call the salmon cakes back in the day? Were they called salmon cakes? Were they called um, patties? Were they called salmon croquettes? So we just want to take all of that goodness and you want to give it a good stir, okay? Good old stir. Yeah, so we have all of our ingredients here. We have our that pinch of nutmeg just really brings a delightful taste to these broccoli bites. If you guys remember the um, the store on the restaurant actually on University Bennigan's was Bennigan's. They used to serve broccoli bites and I absolutely love those broccoli bites. So now we have all that goodness Okay, so after you do that, my oil is getting hot. I just want to take and make some little patties. 
okay? Like so. Really nothing to it. What to do it? Y'all better come on. All right. Diane Gray, mom is making a salad. All right. Well, you guys enjoy your salad. Darling Smith said looking good. It is good, girlfriend. Y'all better come on and cook with Coco. Diamond Shakira said, hey, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Back. Back to you, girl. Y'all doing all right? Everybody's doing all right? Guess what? I got something to tell y'all. Can y'all keep a secret? Ooh, let me tell the secret. <laughs> I'm going to see if y'all can keep a secret. <laughs> I have a contest with, and the contest is, you can win. And you can win this contest by sending me a picture. You can send it to message or face. Well, send it to me through Facebook. Because my the directors and the producers will be the one that will be monitoring this. And what, what I need you to do is take, if you have purchased the first and second edition cookbook, I need you to send me a picture of you holding both cookbooks via Facebook Messenger. Um, okay. Well, then do we're gonna do a random drawing for five different prizes. Let me tell you what the prizes are. Some good prizes too. We're gonna have, we're gonna give away a stainless steel cookware pots and pan set. We're gonna give away stainless steel silverware set. We're gonna give away a solid oak and marble cutting board with matching coasters. We, I also will be giving away two um, opportunities or chances for you to come and cook with Coco on the show. Yes, two different people. And that, that person, whomever wins, can bring a guest, okay? Um, and you will also receive a gift when you arrive. Not only will you be my guest and cook in the kitchen with Coco on a Friday night, we'll, we'll also do a table um, review. Isn't that right? Table review. Mm -hmm. So you'll be sitting at the table with Coco. I will serve you. You will cook with me on the show. And we'll eat together. How about that? So listen. And I'm doing this because you guys have really shown great support toward me and the cookbooks. And I truly, truly appreciate you. And I just want to give back. So those wonderful prizes will be for you. Okay? So again, take a picture of you holding both cookbooks, first and second edition. Send them to me by way of Facebook or Messenger. We will announce the uh, winners on next Friday, and I will get in touch with you. So there. And congratulations to everybody. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Well, it tastes good. <laughs> it really tastes good. Okay. We're going to flip those. You're really, you want them to, mm, mm, it's good, I'm, I'm trying to eat them. You want them to turn a nice brown color. Turn it down just a little bit. Okay, my Uncle Benny is having turkey burgers. Venus is having a pizza and Paula is eating leftovers and her husband loved the meal. Wonderful. Y'all get back in the kitchen and cook for your family. Come on now. We can do it. You can do it. Nothing to it but to do it. I just need them to settle a little bit. Let's get over here on this side. Yes. Okay. Yes. While that's settling, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you what's in the salmon croquettes, okay? Delicious. Who remembers eating salmon croquettes, salmon patties, or salmon cakes? What is in this dish? You, what, what it asks for is a half a cup of almond flour. This is keto friendly. 
You need one to two cans of pink salmon, drained, picked, deboned, okay, all of the skin, take all that off. One red bell pepper diced, two large eggs, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, black and black pepper and salt to taste. You need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a fourth a cup of mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip guys, and a fourth a cup of cilantro. This particular dish here, nutritional values uh, for per serving. There are 520, there are 542 calories, 10 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fat, six grams of fiber, and 10 grams of protein. Come on and cook with cocoa. Y'all better come on and cook with cocoa. So I've already drained my salmon, picked the bones and the skin off, and then all you do now, we're just gonna dump, okay? Our onions and bell peppers. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All of this goodness, y'all gonna come on and cook with cocoa. Yes, we're gonna put our okay guys. And remember, if you have not subscribed to my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, please do so. Please do so. And our mayonnaise goes in last. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We want our Worcestershire. Our Worcestershire. I said that right. <laughs> it goes in the salmon patties, okay? And then we want our two eggs. Again, helps it to mend. Do all that good stuff. Okay. And we're just going to sit this to the side. Get this nice and stirred. Oh, it smells good, guys. So we have our, oh, yes. Looks good, smells good. Yes. Put a little bit more of my crumbs in here. And take my skillet here. Put this back here. I'm gonna add a little olive oil or oil. Either one. Back here. Little that in there. So what y'all cooking? What are y'all cooking? Did y'all tell me what y'all cooking yet? <laughs> Fifi Bowden is having a chicken salad. Sounds good. Homegirl Chrissy. Aikens of red beans and rice. Yummy. Ruby Brown says she cooked um, some two nights ago. Okay, you cooked two nights ago? So are you having leftovers, girlfriend? And Paula wants to win. I bet you do. Guys, I want everybody to win. But we have five wonderful gifts to give away. I will do the announcing tomorrow. I said tomorrow. Next Friday. Yeah, so you guys, I know the support is there. It, it showed up. <laughs> I tell you, it showed up. And guys, I truly, truly appreciate each one of you. I really, really do. And I want to give back. So we're going to do this. I'm excited about who's going to win and all of that good stuff. So look, this is what it looks like afterwards. Peppers. Oh, it smells so good. It really, Mom, can you smell it over there? <laughs> it smells so good. Let's see what these are doing. Okay. I really wanted more of a crust on here. But it's, 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 it's coming, it's coming along. It's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine, Brandy. <laughs> it's going to be just fine. Take my platter here. Everything's looking so good. So, uh, my mom, <laughs> my mom says she wants to win. I'm not going to let my mom win. I'm not going to let my sister win. But guess what? They are some of my biggest supporters. I love them dearly. And I, they'll get something else. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it says, um, looks like I already have a contestant sending photos. Oh, wonderful. Come on, y'all. Let's cook with cocoa. Y'all better come. Cook with cocoa. Yes, yes, yes. I love y'all. I love you, love you, love you. I want to meet some people. Yeah. You'll be, you'll, you'll, you'll be guests in my home, and I'm going to G 
just wait on you and cater to you. I'm going to do all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys. I love each one of you. Some of you I, I know. Well, a lot of you I know. Some of you I don't know. But I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, um, every, when, when people buy the book, I don't know who's buying, but I tell you what, the numbers are really, 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 really doing well. Kill, they're doing really well. And actually, you know, this keto is, it's, I guess, because it's a fad, I don't know. But, hey, keto works. I just want you to know that. It works. Um, okay, you're gonna flip that. Oh yeah, they're doing better. See? Y'all, this is gonna be good. Yes, yes, yes. Come on now and cook, cook, cook. I like that little crunchy, crispy part, Kia. That's on the bottom there. Yes. Good stuff. Okay, now, my oil is hot back here. You can come back here, Kiki. Look at here. I should have had one. I don't. So, and you can make them as large or small as you want. Okay. We have about six people we're going to feed tonight. Um, two or three minutes on each side. And guys, they will be ready. Tim Cooley made... The keto pizza, girl, from the book. Yes, ma'am. How did it taste? Was it an easy breezy? All of my dishes are easy breezies. Every last one of them. That's the, that's the purpose. Come on. Get back in the kitchen. Cook for those kids. Let's do this. Let's do it. Get those kids in the kitchen with you as well. Y'all can do it. Back in the day, let me tell you, especially when we would go visit my grandmother in the summer, it was just really nothing to do but, be, well, me. I was in the kitchen. I didn't really like outdoors. So I stayed in the kitchen with my grandmother under her skirt tail, really. She probably got tired of me. But I loved my grandmother. I enjoyed being around her, and she taught me so, so much. Ruby made the salmon croquettes two nights ago. Okay, Ruby, how were they? Were they delish? I'm going to step to the side so that I can wash my hands off. I love a great salmon croquette and a dipping sauce to go with it. Yeah, you can come over there and see what they're doing over there. I'm going to move this to the side, get my little platter here. Yeah, nothing to it, but to do it. Yes, yes, yes. Look at all that good old cheese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Y'all better come on and cook with Coco. Come on and cook with Coco. Yes, y'all, it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Come on, Coco, let's do it. <laughs> yes. So we have people that are already submitting their pictures now, here, put it over here. I just want, see, I, I don't, I want juicy. I want, yeah, look, look, what the, what, what is she doing? Add more flavor. what I say? Do it until it tastes good. And that's going to taste delicious. Let me see if I can get the goddaughter to at least taste it. Her <laughs> finicky self. Oh, my goodness. She don't know what she's missing, y'all. All I say is just try. If you just try, that's all I ask. When my daughter was growing up, I, that's, all, that's what I would tell us. If don't tell me you don't like it because of the way it looks. Just try it. And once you try it, if you don't like it, I will leave it alone, okay? Uh, Barbara London said she loves cooking from recipes. Yes, easy breezy ones especially. Tiff said, um, yes, it was easy. And taste amazing. Yes, follow Coco's recipes, easy breezy. And while you're following them and eating them, you you can be losing weight. I promise you, easy breezy. Okay, we're gonna get her to come over for a minute. We're gonna flip. Uh -oh. We're gonna flip. Flip two or three minutes on each. 
side. Yes. Come on now and cook. We cook, cook. Just a little bit. Easy greasy. They smell amazing, guys. They really, really do. And then I have this delicious sauce over here that is going to just knock them to the sky. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Guess what? We're almost done. We're almost finished. I'm going to, you know, I always try to plate up some juiciness for you guys. Let you see how easy breezy it really is. So everybody as well, a lot of you guys are cooking tonight. Look at this delicious uh, black eye pea salad. Amazing. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Y'all better come on and cook with Coco. Listen, delicious black eye peas. We have our English cucumbers. We have red peppers. We have yellow peppers. You can also use green. We have green onions. We have cilantro. We have tomatoes. Woohoo! Y'all better come on and cook. Delicious. Come on. Cook with cocoa. Where's my other little spatula? Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take some of these out and just lay them in the plate. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all better come on and cook with cocoa. Y'all don't miss out. Woohoo. Look how pretty. And listen, cheese and broccoli and that pinch of Oh my goodness. Did I say pinch of um? Uh... No, man. That's it. Thank you, brother. Yes. Thank you. Uh huh. Let's look at our salmon croquettes. Yes. Look at here, look at here, look at here. All that goodness, we ain't wasting not one ounce of it. Come on now, let's cook. Y'all, delicious, delicious, delicious. Okay, yes. Okay, let me see what it's looking like on the inside. I think I want them, you know, you want them done. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Amazing. Y'all can do this. Stop making excuses. Get in the kitchen. Y'all get back in the kitchen. Cook for them kids. And that husband, too. Y'all stop being ugly. Y'all be nice. <laughs> Y'all be nice, okay? Look at here, look at here. Look at here, look at here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put me a sandwich. Ooh, we. Okay, yeah. Let me get some of these salmon crickets. Ooh, we, y'all. Yes. Delicious. Easy breezy. Easy breezy Friday night meal. Y'all can do it. If Coco can do it, so can you. So can you. So, we have our, hey, dinner is ready, Freddie. I have, okay, 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 let me get, let me do, come on, come on, come on. Let me just get my stuff here. Okay, let me show you something. Now, remember, I said that you can use your aioli sauce as well on either one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the um, aioli sauce on my broccoli. And then I'll put the avocado over on. Yes. Look at that. Y'all better come on and cook with cocoa. Y'all better stop playing. Quit it. Quit it, quit it. <laughs> I tell you, dinner is ready, ready. It's ready. That's it. Nothing to it but to do it. So, but we got to go in here and let's just taste some of this yummy goodness. Okay, so I have the broccoli fritters with cheese and mmm. What? What? Did I say broccoli? Did I say cheese? Did I say delicious? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now, let's taste some of this.
of the salmon. Mm-hmm. With the avocado sauce, y'all. Mm-hmm. Let's be going in. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Oh my. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Look. This is better. We got to taste some of this um black eyed pea salad. Y'all come on. Mm-hmm. I left the cucumber. Let me get it. Mm. Woo! Make you want to dance. Y'all, I promise you. Mm-hmm. Y'all have got to try this. This is dinner at the agents tonight. We have salmon croquettes, patties, cakes, whatever you want to call them. We have our broccoli fritters, broccoli cheese fritters, and we have our black eyed pea salad along with homemade. I told y'all y'all could make your own salad dressings. You don't have to go to the store. Call Coco. She'll hook you up. She'll tell you what to put in it. How much and all of that good stuff. I appreciate you guys. Please continue to send me those pictures. I am excited about the winners to come. I'm excited about you guys coming. And listen, I'm going to sit down with Coco. You're going to come in the kitchen and cook with me. I'm excited to meet you. Love each one of you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of the love and the support and the encouragement. I appreciate you guys. I love you all. Again, I'll see you next week, okay? And again, have a wonderful, blessed weekend. Stay safe. In Jesus' name.